Hi guys, I have seven ideas for you, how you can enjoy and uh, explore fragrance without spending any money. And I thought the time was right for this kind of video, uh, how to you know be a little bit more on a budget. I find a lot of people don't want to spend money right now, and I'm trying to encourage you also not to spend money. <laughs> there, there's so much insecurity now, and we don't know what's happening with the electricity prices and inflation and interest rates, and maybe your mortgage will go up. Um, I find like even people with with a lot of money I've noticed like are really concerned now and and I was a little you know I mean why do they worry they have so much money but I think it's because they have a lot to lose you know like a lot invested and it's you know there, there's big um, swings up and down in their economy I'm guessing but anyway I, I just felt that this is not the time to spend money on unnecessary things like perfume and I'm just guessing that Many of you watching have plenty already uh, with fragrances, and you can still explore more fragrances without spending any money. And my first tip is swap. And I'm not only talking about swapping full bottles, but also swapping decants. I just have a, I just have a bunch of decants here, great fragrances. I haven't spent a nickel for these. I've just used my own collection. And if you have big bottles like this, who cares if you send three to somebody else, you know? You're not going to go through all that anyway. And a lot of my bottles are 100 mil bottles. I will not get through this. If this was my only fragrance, maybe, but I have so many fragrances. I mean, here I just I just got today this little two milliliter Nightingale from Zoologist. Uh, it's a great fragrance, by the way. Um, and it's just so much fun to, to be able to. I have here a Psychedelic Love, uh, Oud for Greatness, a sample. I haven't paid anything for these. Um, it's just a good way of, you know, trying more, and I think that's what a lot of us like to do. Um, but we have to let go of the desire to own these beautiful bottles, because that is not going to be good for our economy. Uh, okay, my idea number two is to explore one particular note, like go into your collection and like pick out everything that has heliotrope. Um, what got me started on that little um, that little idea with the heliotrope was that I bought this recently. It's called Flavor of Love. It's from Savor and it's kind of an irisy violet fragrance and it reminded me a little bit of Sumo Wrestler which is a heliotrope fragrance and I thought maybe if I add a little heliotrope to this one um, I might be able to sort of create something like it and then I and I, I kind of like I wanted to see if I could learn more about how heliotrope works in fragrances and what kind of fragrances it typically is used in so I kind of got all my fragrances out, and I found that, for example, this one from um, um, this one from Tom Ford. It's called Metallic, has heliotrope. Um, this one that I just showed you here, Vixer, Vixer, uh, from Electimus, has heliotrope, um, and also how it how it's kind of different from other purple flowers. And just a good way of like training your nose. And I did it also recently with around the note of myrrh, um, just to kind of teach my nose how different it can smell in different types of perf different compositions, but also um, doing some research on, you know, how it's harvested and how it's, um, how they make, how they, you know, make this and how people, how different people describe it. It was really, really different. And that helped me also be able to recognize it in perfume. Some people called it cold and some warm and others said it smelled like Coca-Cola and someone said earthy, someone said some semi-sweet. And with all these things together kind of helped me um, identify it. Um, my third tip is to read up on a special perfumer, like find everything from Cecile Zerokian that, that I'm, you know, that you might own, might have decants from, and just compare them and see if you can find a particular style, because it helps you in the future finding new fragrances. Uh, number four, I just hear people coming home, so I get a little bothered, but uh, for number four, layer fragrances. Great fun, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I was, you know, I'm looking for like an oriental gourmand, but I'm going to try to like create one myself. The same thing with the heliotrope uh, together with eucalyptus because um, Sumo Wrestler has like anise and eucalyptus together with heliotrope. I'm going to try to sort of create that. But layering is fun. Uh, number five, discuss fragrance online. Great fun. Find a local community. Uh, join in there and discuss with others. It is for free. Uh, that's great fun as well. And you can make some new friends maybe to do some swaps with. 
Um, make, and my, number six, make sample kits and decants for friends and family. I also think it's fun. Like if I go to my brother's house, I'll bring, I'll bring some decants, you know, for he and for him and his wife and the kids and it's great fun. Um, sometimes I'll make like a little card and, you know, write when they should wear this or like when it would be appropriate or maybe some of the key notes or something like that. Um, yeah. And number seven, this is the kind of a thing I thought of today, spray and wash off. Just like a wine taster goes to an event, you know, they fill their mouth with wine, they spit it out. Um, maybe it doesn't make much sense to somebody who's not into that, but I think it makes sense in perfumery because it allows us to try more perfumes in a day. Um, because there, there are too few days and there's too little skin. So I think that to a certain extent, I have to do it. I have to, you know, spray and then wash off because I want to experience more from my collection. And I believe in using your collection and not ever, ever holding back or saving just because you, you know, you're going through it too quickly or whatever. It might, okay, if you have something discontinued and you really, really don't want to use it, but eventually it's going to be used anyway. So why not just use it? And then you can look for something similar maybe when you run out. So uh, wear your fragrances more. Spray and wash off. Okay, so number one is swap. Number two, explore a particular note or maybe a category of notes like all your boozy fragrances. Number three, read up on a special perfumer. Number four, lay your fragrances. Um, number five, discuss, discuss fragrance online. You can also, you know, connect with different YouTubers and, and comment on their, uh, on their content. At number six, make sample kits and decants for friends and family. And number seven, spray and wash off and just use your, your perfumes more. Do you have any ideas how to enjoy perfume on a budget? <laughs>